We're going to change this compressor. I've tested it. The compressor is faulty. We're going to replace it with one of these. Um, what I did was I cut the capillary tube off the dryer and we allowed all the gas to blow out. And I've undid the four bolts that holds the compressor on and we've disconnected the wires so there's no gas in here and we're going to remove the tubes and that we do with a flame now normally what I do first is I remove the the high side tube because sometimes if you pull the suction out and there's still a bit of pressure it can shoot oil at you so the high side is the side where the dryer is on so we just heat it up and I'm going to throw this dryer away so I concentrate the heat more on the dryer concentrate the heat more on the dryer than the tube because if you overheat the tube you can damage it Now the bit of flames coming out there, this was charged with R600, which is a flammable gas, but everything is out there, just a little bit of remaining. This is the suction that we're heating up now. Concentrate the heat on the compressor side. And that's it. Now we just leave it for a few minutes to cool down. We'll take the compressor, throw it in the recycling bin, and I'll show you how I connect a new one on. Okay. What I've done now is I've put a new compressor in its place and I've put the four bolts on it. Uh, now before we pull these rubber plugs out, we prepare the tubes so that they line up. Now this is a 316 copper tube which is going to fit there. So that's going to be quite an easy fit. But this one here has to go on there. So we're going to need to make a sharp bend in it. And for that I've got this quarter inch bender which we put onto the tube and we just pull it across and it gives you a nice bend quite a sharp bend without kinking the pipe so this one we're going to put it on here these two and this is the charge pipe we're going to use here now when you pull these rubber plugs out first pull the one out on the high side which is the smaller tube before you pull the suctions out, because if you pull the suctions out first, sometimes it sprays a bit of oil out. Now, the tubes that's going in here is quarter inch, but um, sometimes they, they, they're a bit tight. So we just swage the pipes, and I've, I've, I use these little swages just to check. You see, now this is supposed to be quarter inch, that so fits in nicely, and that one is the 3 sixteenths which we can't really get in there and this is the other quarter inch side and we just make sure that goes in otherwise the tubes doesn't fit so we stick the copper tube inside there same with that one and same with this one so now we're going to well it's just all copper to copper copper to copper copper to copper so we use a welding rod which I call silver alloy. I use no flux, just a little bit of heat and it flows really nicely. So I'll just do one joint so you can have a look. Get a nice neutral flame. When you weld on this, these are all plastic, so you don't want to burn the fridge. So you always try and move the heat away from the plastic. You don't actually burn towards the plastic. So when you get the copper the right temperature, it flows nicely. It's a very easy joint. This is a new copper part to new copper part and there's your joint perfect. So we're gonna do these two joints and then what I do at the end of this, I'll just put a, a valve that we use for charging and when I'm finished we'll take it off but I'll show you later okay we are, I've done these welds here and I've welded this tap on here or service valve 
Now the electrical connections, um, there's your power cord, the earth wire I've just put on there and these just plug onto the, the last two contacts there like that that is the power this is a little cord grip so we can put the wire into the cord grip there we can tighten that screw a bit later but what I like to do when I'm at this point is just to blow a little bit of gas through the system in case there's some impurities from the weld and how I do it I connect a charge line onto this valve here goes through a gauge and we just rinse it through a bit of R12. Now what should happen is the gas comes out here freely and out of the capillary. We just open this capillary. We just break this capillary open. Make sure it blows out nicely. Okay. Now while it's blowing we just put some power on the compressor for a second we plug it in the compressor is running and we block the high side off just let it suck a little bit of gas in and we blow it we switch it off so a little bit of oil came out there and now we can safely say the system is not blocked and also um, we blew the, the dirt up so now I'm going to go ahead and put a little pencil dryer on here. This is the pencil dryer, 15 gram, and we're going to weld it on there like that. And then we're going to put a vacuum pump on there. Okay. I've done the top and bottom weld on the pencil dryer. It's still a bit out here because it's warm. As it cools down, we'll bend it into place. I've connected the suction onto a vacuum pump. and. Um, a little system like this, vacuum two minutes is sufficient. If your machine can't draw a vacuum in two minutes, there's a problem with your vacuum pump. So while we wait for the two minutes, we can tighten this cord grip. And then there's a little dust cover that covers the electrical connections, which just clips on. And we clip it on there nice and neat. Okay, after your two minutes of vacuum, first thing you do is you close the service valve to your compressor, switch off the vacuum pump, we connect this onto our gauge, open our gas bottle, so there's pressure, and we blow the air out of the pump. We don't want air to go in. So just a second like that. And we open it and the gas will freely flow into the compressor. Once the gas flows in, we can start the compressor up. Compressor is running. We close the bottle. And now this fridge is warm. And we get it to settle on about 10 PSI on my gauge, which is about there. Still going down. You get it to 10 PSI and then you're 90% sure you got the right amount of gas in there. But we'll run it. We might add a little bit or blow a little bit off. And that's how I change a compressor on a mini bar fridge. Once we're done, we'll pinch this pipe off and I'll weld it closed. And we send it out. This is a little fridge we changed the compressor on yesterday uh, but after it ran for a while this compressor overheated and this dryer was getting hot as well as, as if there wasn't enough condenser in it so i've added this extra piece of condenser on we often find on the r600 system that if you convert it like this one is on r12 r12 needs more condenser to, conden to condense than the r600 so we just added this extra bit on and now the dryer is nice and cool, it's running now. And then when we're done, we just uh, pinch it off like this and we're ready to send it out. Thanks.